Oh, vintage and retro, very hot topics and everything from clothes to cars to house design these days. So, glasses and sunglasses, are they hot ticket vintage and retro items too? Absolutely. So, you've got all kinds of different ways this can be done. You can find old vintage frames in thrift shops across the world. A very great way to go about it, and of course there's risk with that. So, if you find a frame you love that's a vintage style, of course, Typically, those will need to be restored. Now, there's some vintage shops that sell already restored frames. That's always a nice way to go. Of course, the risk there is you're very unlikely to find another one of those. If something does happen to the frame and it breaks when they're mounting lenses in it, or goodness forbid, later after that's already been done, there's really no way to replace that. Now, hopefully something that can be repaired. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But, as far as vintage goes, I actually have one piece here handy. Now, this has not been restored yet, so you do still have a little bit of off-coloring. A good polish would help. Maybe re dye it a different color. A few different options as far as that goes. But this is a very cool old-school cat-eye frame from Liberty. So, this one's been around for a long time. In fact, this is one I found in a thrift shop, speaking of. Still has old glass lenses in it. You can tell that very easily on this particular one because you've got that lined bifocal but no pronounced edge. So, cool stuff there. Nice, pretty lightweight, but a very, very tiny frame. And you'll find that of a lot of the older vintage stuff from the 50s and 60s. They were just more petite overall. So that's one thing to watch out for with that. Now, there are some brands that are known for bigger sizes, just like there are today, so that's always an option. But, aside from a true vintage, a fully restored frame, you know, something along those lines, you've always got the option of new vintage. So, there's a lot of companies, because of the resurgence of vintage, that are actually reproducing old styles. Now, Varnay's one right off, they're actually producing six styles they call legends that are reintroductions from their originals but they have also brought back the glacier so this was one from the 1970s very well known among explorers just because it's a very rugged very strong frame that is this guy here very comfortable of course glass lenses as Varney is known for super strong lenses super crisp optics and of course because of these side shields nice and resistant to the weather keeping your face nice too or at least the eyes anyways now the cool thing here those in this particular model are leather side shields they're removable on all of their models so you can bring up the style just a little bit if you don't need that side shield you can wear it for more of a fashionable look or of course if you're into that more explorey outdoorsy look then you've got that as well but very nice little magnetic clip there so it locks into place pretty nicely of course good actuation to fill on the temples all those nice things you would expect from a quality varnay now another varnay i mentioned those legends this one you might recognize so this is the legend 03 now this is the same frame as worn in the big lebowski good stuff ever popular very classic styling in this case that nice brown fade with the dark rich to the light brown at the bottom brown polarized lenses all great stuff from varnay as always and of course does it get any cooler than the dude himself i mean come on you need that in your collection i don't care who you are and while we're in the 70s we'll jump and fast forward a few years to the interchangeable lens design from Porsche. Now this is one, again, a vintage style from the 70s, 78 to be exact, still produced today. Now they have tweaked this design just a little bit. The bridge is a little bit more narrow. They have adjusted this slightly. So no huge changes in design. Still overall the same look with those really big lenses. And of course, still that nice little clasp where you can swap those lenses out just like you could 41 years ago. Of course, I'm going to get caught fooling around with it here on camera, and we're going to get stuck there. All right, so that's that one. Now, another collection that actually, you know, they've not been around for 70, 30, 40, 50, whatever, however many years 
for the vintage you're looking back to. But Etnia Barcelona, they're kind of newer on the scene. They're based in Spain. And you'll see me mention this brand a lot. I'm kind of fond of it, guys. I'm sorry. It happens. And you love eyewear, you find great things. But anyway, so they have introduced a collection that is vintage inspired. So these are all frames from a different time period. They've been reproduced. And this one, what I really like about it, you can't actually pick up on camera here, but it has that kind of nice knurled, rolled look on the metal trim all the way around the frame. But just a very nice classy look on these. Simple, subtle has that old school saddle bridge so you don't actually have nose pads but it's cool and classy now this is something you would do typically with a very light gradient tint like a pink or a blue maybe even a yellow in some cases but just something to add a little bit more pop to it now not necessarily something that would be sunglasses dark but definitely just a little touch of color there that's a nice way to spice up a frame like that and get that really vintage era look out of it the next one is another from Etnia's Vintage Collection. These are just some of the ones I happen to have around the shop, so... <laughs> Lucky or not, that's what we've got. So this one is, of course, a modified version of the Classic Aviator. It's a little bit more square. There's a name for that, and it's escaping me today. <laughs> that happens all the time. But it's just that very traditional double bar aviator look. You got a few little markings here in the temple. And you'll see that on all of Etnia's vintage collection. Of course, still nice acetate temple tips. And those are made to have kind of a vintage look to the acetate as well. So not an actual vintage acetate like you would find on vinylize, but still a very cool touch. So, of course, speaking of vinylize, we can't not grab one of their frames. Now, this company isn't really focused on vintage styling per se. Now, all of their styles are very classic, very traditional. They've got some modern ones they introduce from time to time. Now, but the reason I bring them up with vintage is because the acetate on the backing, not the side with the vinyl record, which is cool in its own right, but the actual acetate backing for these is real vintage acetate. So this is something that's old stock from the 60s. So, real vintage, but made new. Now there's some other companies out there that do this right off hand. Savile Row is one that occasionally they'll get vintage acetate in. They'll make new frames with that so you can have that truly classic look. Uh, they do a lot of frames that also mimic older styles in their metals as well as their acetates. So there's a lot of ways to get that really classic vintage look. So, you know, that's all I've got today on the vintage stuff. If you have any feedback or comments, feel free to throw that in. Let me know your thoughts on this. Or if you have a restored vintage frame, I'd love to see what you've got out there. I'm a vintage nut. I can't help it. I'm a glasses nut. <laughs> I can't help that either. But anyways, so if you liked this, definitely give me a like, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you stay up to date on the latest videos I've got coming out. Okay. Anything else? Take care in the meantime. Leave some comments below. We'll see you guys next time.